Hi guys, so um, I want to use this video to give you guys some help with the DC circuit builder. Um, I want to take you through each of the circuits um, using the simulation um, and kind of point you in the right direction in terms of making the measurements to get the homework done for Monday. Um, so over here is your, your battery. Um, and then all of the pieces of your circuit, you have your wires here, resistors, light bulbs, which we're not using, and then the ammeters. And so to set up, if you look at the series, the series circuit, um, we want to make a giant loop. So we want to start off with two wires here, um, around the first turn, and then we're going to add our first resistor. And then after that, an ammeter to measure the current. And then two more wires around the next turn. And then resistor number two. And an ammeter to measure the current through that. And then another wire, resistor number three. And then another ammeter another wire, and finally an ammeter measure the current going through the, the battery. Um, and now we have our, this is called a series circuit because all of the all of the charge has to go through every single part of the circuit in, in order to get back to the battery. There's no, there's no alternate paths. Um, everything has to go through the same, um, the same conductive loop essentially. And so I want to point out a few things here. So the potentials are, are measured in the, in the white circles. So if this is a 9-volt battery, it means there's a potential difference of 9 volts. Um, so just like potential energy can be defined as zero anywhere, we usually say like the, the table or the floor is going to be zero potential. We can def define one side of the battery to be um, zero potential, and then if this is a nine volt battery, then you, you're going to get um, a potential boost of nine volts from the battery, and then the the resistors are going to be um, are going to be potential drops. Um, so it's kind of like if you think about a roller coaster, um, the the motor takes the roller coaster up to the top of the hill at the beginning. That's what gives it all the energy um, to go through the rest of the ride until it gets back to back to the start. Same thing kind of with a circuit. So the battery gives us our our potential to get the circuit going. So now we have nine volts in this first part, and so notice the potential is the same everywhere in the in the wire until you get to the resistor number one. And notice on one side of the resistor we have a, uh, a potential of 9. On the other side we have a potential of 6. And we can measure that if we take out our voltmeter and we measure one side of the resistor and then the other side. So we're measuring across and so the voltmeter is going to read 3 volts. Um, and so, and this is how you'd measure it, an actual resistor because you wouldn't have the white circles. Um, okay, and so we have um, we have a potential difference. So we're there's gonna be a drop of three volts um, because of resistor number one. And so we go to, from nine volts down to six volts, and then the rest of that circuit. Can, that the wire between resistor 1 and 2 is going to be at a, a potential of 6 volts. We get to resist, resistor number 2, and then we drop from 6 volts down to 3 volts. So again, a potential drop of 3 volts. And again, if you put your meter out there, it will read. And notice if I... If I change which which is which, you can get a negative or a positive. Again, the the number really doesn't doesn't matter um, right now because you can see it's easily 
reversible. Um, and so it, it um, so if you just if, if you just call everything positive and can think of it, is it adding energy into the system or is it taking it out? The battery is adding energy to the system. The resistors are taking it out. And okay, so we put that back. And then the last, um, the last resistor we have a so we have three volts now, and the last drop is going to get us back down to zero volts, which is ground floor, and that takes us back to the battery. And now the other thing to point out is if you look at the ammeters, all the ammeters are measuring the same current and so we have 0.3 amps 0.3 amps 0.3 amps so that's one one of the things about a series circuit is everything in a series circuit is going to be in uh, have have the same current um, and, and I hope you can see why that would be the case all the current is flowing through the same wires okay so that that sets up your basic um, your basic circuit um, to find the overall resistance of the entire circuit, you would take the potential difference of the battery and divide that by the by the current going through the battery. And then I'll give you that's using Ohm's law. That'll give you the the overall resistance of the circuit. And then to find the the resistance in each each resistor, you would take the potential drop, three volts. Again, divide by 0.3 amps. Um, to find the resistor in each, um, the the resistance of each of each of the three individual resistors, and then what I want you to think about is how does the total resistance of the entire circuit compare to the individual resistances, and 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 that should be um, a pretty logical um, conclusion that you come to. Um, and then the the second part of this is to kind of, if you think you have that part figured out, then if you click on this tab, you can change the potential. So we can change the um, change the battery. So we say we step this up to maybe a 12 volt battery. So now we have a potential. So that that changes our potentials across the board. And then it also asks you to change the resistances. So if you click on each resistor, make and make each resistor different. So if I said, let me bring the first one up to 15, keep the second one at 10, and bring the third one down to 5. And you can see things have changed. Um, and so what I want you to figure out is what is the overall principle that we can say? What can we conclude about um, about series circuits in terms of um, how do how do all the resistances um, compare to the total resistance how does the current compare um, and how, what's happening with each of the voltage drops across each resistor and then the last part would just be to calculate the power so have, you have the power going in the power being supplied by the battery so the power in from the battery and the power um, coming out of the system from each of the, um, the resistors. And again, you can use power equals current times potential and do, use that and compare the power in versus the power coming out of resistor one, the power um, coming out of resistor two, and the power coming out of resistor three. And that should be everything you need to know about series circuits. Um, I hope this has been useful, um, and I'm sure you'll let me know about it uh, when we come to class on Monday. All right.